Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. I repeat this verse quite often daily and I would like now to share this passage of scripture which is very relevant to our time with you from Revelation chapter 4 starting from verse 1 after this I looked and saw a door standing open in heaven now I have to say in brackets here that it is partially very similar to a dream I had uh, which I made a video of um, years ago I had a dream of flying into the Sun if you haven't watched that video where I explained that in full detail uh, it will be at the end of this video uh, I highly recommend everybody to watch that really fascinating and, and it is something that everybody should actually hear I had another similar dream um, which was more personal I haven't made a video of and um, one day I will make a video of that too or an audio similar to this uh, but it's amazing that what John thousands of years ago saw people like me can still see today if not exactly the same but part or in part it can be uh, similar if, if nothing else let's start again reading from verse 1 after this I looked and saw a door standing open in heaven and the voice I had previously heard speak to me like a trumpet was saying come up here and I will show you what must happen after these things at once I was in the spirit and I saw a throne standing in heaven with someone seated on it the one seated there looked like Jasper and Carnelian and a rainbow that gleamed like an emerald encircled the throne surrounding the throne were 24 other thrones and on these thrones sat 24 elders dressed in white with golden crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning and rumblings and peals of thunder. Before the throne burned seven torches of fire. These are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne was something like a sea of glass, as clear as crystal, in the center around it throne were four living creatures covered with eyes in front and back the first living creature was like a lion the second like a calf the third had a face like a man and the fourth was like an eagle in flight and each of the four living creatures had six wings and was covered with eyes all around and within day and night they never stop saying holy 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 is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come and whenever the living creatures give glory honor and thanks to the one seated on the throne who lives forever and ever the 24 elders fall down before the one seated on the throne and they worship him who lives forever and ever they cast their crowns before the throne saying worthy are you O Lord and God to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things by your will they exist and came to be I believe we all have to say that daily is important holy 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 is the Lord Almighty who was and is and is to come and worship the Lord that comes to me usually just after I sometimes 
murmur and grumble to God that how long, O oh Lord, how long before the judgment of the inhabitants of the earth? You, you know, you see things in the world as more and more evil is unfolding. You just get sick of it. You just think how much is God's patience? How long, O oh Sovereign Lord, how long for the judgment of the inhabitants of the earth? And straight after that, I say, holy, 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 holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. And the answer that comes to me is um, this passage of scripture from Matthew 24, verses 15 onwards. I read, so when you see standing in the holy place the abomination of desolation described by the prophet Daniel, let the reader understand, then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let no one on the housetop come down to retrieve anything from his house. And let no one in the field return for his cloak. How miserable those days will be for pregnant and nursing mothers. Pray that your flight will not occur in the winter or on the Sabbath. So that's another thing we have to do. We have to pray that our flight will not take place in the winter or on the Sabbath. Our flight from this world, from this life. For at that time, there will be great tribulation, unmatched from the beginning of the world until now, and never to be seen again. If those days had not been cut short, nobody would be saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. You see, even the elect wouldn't be saved. So for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. At that time, if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or there he is, do not believe it, for false Christs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders that would deceive even the elect, if that were possible. This part of the verse is very important that people miss, if that were possible. See, I have told you in advance. So if they tell you, there he is in the wilderness, don't go out. Or here he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For just as the lightning comes from the east and flashes as far as the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever there is a carcass, there the vultures will gather. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. At that time, the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven and all the tribes of the earth will mourn they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory, and he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heavens to the other. We will be gathered together in the clouds, It's not too late. If you haven't repented from your sins, it's not too late. Or we haven't got much time. We are in the last days, as described here by Jesus himself. 
and all the signs have been fulfilled. Only one condition, we are not sure if that's been fulfilled or not. And I'll read that one for you. Revelation chapter 6. Um, I start reading from verse 7. And when the Lamb opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come! Then I looked and saw a pale green horse. Its rider's name was Death, and Hades followed close behind. And they were given authority over a fourth of the earth to kill by sword, by famine, by plague, and by the beasts of the earth. All that has happened. And when the Lamb opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and for the testimony they had upheld. And they cried out in a loud voice, How long, O holy Lord, holy and true, until you avenge our blood and judge those who dwell upon the earth. This is what I say too when I see the corruption, the filth, the unholiness that's going on in the world, the evil that's increasing by the minute. How long, O oh Lord, holy and true, until you avenge our blood and judge those who dwell upon the earth? And, and these are the ones who have been martyred saying these things in heaven. They see these sinful generation and they are crying out in a loud voice. They are already in heaven and they have been killed. They have been slain for the word of God and for the testimony they upheld. And they are saying this. And I'm sure millions of saints living on earth also sing along and say the same thing as I say and all these saints that have been slain also have said they say the same thing how long O Lord holy and true until you avenge their blood we can say their blood and judge those who dwell upon the earth then each of them was given a white robe and told to rest a little while longer. They were given power, strength to, to tolerate that, that burden. And, and we should pray so God may give us strength. Then each of them was given a white robe and told to rest a little while longer until the full number of their fellow servants, their brothers, were killed just as they had been killed. So this is the only condition that we cannot be sure if that has been fulfilled. Because we don't know how many have been slain and how many are to be slain still. for their testimony to Jesus, for the word of God. Other than that, earthquakes, plagues, drought, flooding, earthquakes, all that has happened. And now I would like to ask us all together, pray that our flight might not occur in the winter or on the Sabbath. Holy Father, give us strength, clothe us in a white robe, cleanse us, wash us from all our, from all our sins. Forgive us our sins and forgive the sins of our fathers and our forefathers. Wash us with the blood of Jesus Christ. Cleanse us.
cleanse our thoughts and let everything that we say and do be holy and clean. Set us apart to be holy in Jesus' name. Be with us, strengthen us. While we are on this earth, in this world, let us not be of it. Let us not have to compromise. Let us not ever be forced to compromise. Let us not ever feel forced to compromise with this sinful generation. With the, with the standards of this world. But be set apart to be holy. Keep us safe in your holy hands. Our Lord Jesus, as you kept all the 12 disciples that you had and not lost even a single one but the one that was already evil keep us safe in your hands heavenly father be with us be with our family members and protect us all wherever they may be in the world protect us from the corruption and the evil that's going on in the world keep us safe and let our flight not occur on the sabbath if you have a family member or you yourself have felt like you have walked away from the lord you feel that you've backslid at one point you feel weak you feel your heart is hardened i tell you one thing and I, i'll make a special video for that which has been something on my heart for for a long time but i haven't actually gone around to do it uh, it's it's about this fallacy of backsliding which doesn't exist but i'm not gonna um, open that up in this um, video or this session as that takes its own um, video and, and it takes a lot of time to explore all the verses about that surrounding that subject but I'll tell you one thing put aside all your um, emotions put aside all your feelings for your loved ones put aside whatever you've been taught before for a few seconds at least and think about Jesus' disciples. If you think backsliding is something that is a frequent phenomena, if you like, that can happen in the church in the body of Christ, you're wrong. Because we can all go astray like sheep, but we come back if you are truly saved same as all Jesus disciples if you think about that time that Jesus was arrested to be crucified they all fled they all went away and you can consider that backsliding and there are numerous occasions that I can come up with and show you verses after verses that teaches you there is no such thing. Once you're saved, you are saved. God will not give you the Holy Spirit today and will take 
the Holy Spirit away from you tomorrow. He will not do that because he is omnipotent, all-knowing, and he knows in advance what you're going to do in the future. Today is the day of salvation. Today is your day. Receive the gift of God, the gift of salvation. By faith in Jesus Christ, be born again. That one time that you felt you were saved and you went to church for a while and you worship God and now you feel or your loved ones feel they're away from the Lord, they were not saved to begin with. If they were, they wouldn't go away. First John chapter 2 verse 19 reads, They went out from us, but they did not really belong to us. For if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us. But their going showed that none of them belonged to us. 1 John is the best book regarding um, debunking of backsliding theory. It completely debunks it and it completely teaches you that once you are saved, you're saved. Truly, we're talking about true salvation. The ones who have received the Holy Spirit the crown of glory. May the Lord be with you, wherever you are. Uh, again, I highly recommend that you watch my other video, which will appear at the end of this video, which was uh, titled something like, My Dream of Flying into the Sun. Uh, I really highly recommend that you watch that. May God bless you. I'll see you again soon. Till then, goodbye.